Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Where we left off, we cleared up a, quite a bit of side quests, because we have opened up a lot of them. But we're not done with them yet. We still got more to do. So, I'm going to head on over to C... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm going to head on over to C... -Sec. I'm also going to take this as an opportunity to go back up. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. And the reason why I'm going back up here is that... Well, we need to go into the Normandy. Why do we need to go into the Normandy? To call her mom. Since I'm a spacer. And it's the only time your mom is alive. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. So to call her mom, we go back to where we talk to the council. Also grab this for some experience. And we open the comm. Computer, give me a real-time connection to the Dreadnought Kilimanjaro. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepard. Shepard speak. Oh, hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember a Lieutenant Zavaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. I've seen him here on the Citadel. Looks like he's had some hard times. I don't doubt it. You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Zabaleta was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. I don't understand. What happened down there? About every abomination that a sentient being can do to another. To a slaver, a person is just another animal. And humans aren't always liked out here. We heard about corralling. Uh, culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. Jesus. He has post-traumatic stress because of what he saw? He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. All right, Mom. So now, we're going to go back on the Citadel. While we're at it, I'm going to be swapping around my team to have Caden and Rex with me. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. Nice to see so many humans working for CSEC. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. 
The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. All right. We need to go have a chat with Jaleed. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You lied to us about the Keeper data. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. And there we go. Now then, we also need to go talk with Chellick. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. Okay. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I don't follow you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always playing the angles, detective? As part of the job. Now are you going to help me or not? You're a smart guy, Chellick. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Alright, level up, bitches. Let's see here, what do I want to do? Hmm... I can work on my Intimidate. Oh, I should also work on... I should work on my Infiltrator as well. There we go. At least so I can sell more things. There we go. Now my o I can make my weapons overheat less. As for Caden... Um... Yeah, I'll work on your throw. There you go. And barrier. As for Rex... There we go. There we go. All right. And also we want to go up here right away because there is a keeper. There's also some stuff we can scan as well. 
just for some extra experience. There we go. with this guy named Jax and well first I think we can go to the med clinic and I think we get another thing that we can do or I might need to revisit the nope we can do it right now cool I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will. Or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard. I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. All right, so Dr. Michelle, Dr. Michelle, I mean, is being blackmailed, so that's fun. So we gotta go to the markets <clears throat> and try to help her out. First, there's the guy we can talk to right here. There's Jax. And his men. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. All right, now let's go talk with Morlin. Hello there, welcome to Morlin's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but the doctor, I don't, this is not right, human. Shut up, Morlin. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. You're shutting down a medical clinic. What if someone needs treatment? What if you need treatment? Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humble, so... What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Thank you. Alright, what kind of stuff can we get that's Krogan related? Mm, I can't even afford this shit. Never mind. <laughs> Well, we took care of that, so we can go let 
Dr. Michelle know that things are gonna work out and yeah then we gotta go back to the detective and tell him that we got his shit done too we also gotta scan all the keepers and yes I'm gonna be scanning all of them so let's head on over to Michelle Alright, Doctor. Everything's under control. Don't worry. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. Captain Anderson might know him. We'll see what the Captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Alright, she has been taken care of. Now we're gonna go back to the detective down in CSEC and there we gotta go back to Ward's access to talk with Ernesto Zabaleta right back here hello Chuck commander I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. There we go. And we get cryo rounds. Which I'm converting into Omni Channel. <laughs> Alright. Well, took care of that. Let's see. What else do we need to do aside from Sabalita? Is that everything aside from the keepers? I know there's another thing I can do, but I don't want to do that yet. I want to do that on the next visit, so... Alright, I gotta go to... Okay, I remember now. I was brain farting for a second about where Ward's access was. <laughs> uh, I hate when that happens. Sometimes when you use the elevators, your squad mates will share us, will uh, talk with each other. I'm surprised you're willing to fight Kroven, Rex. I thought you'd stand with your own. Anyone who fights us is either stupid or on Saren's payroll. Killing the latter is business. Killing the former is a favor to the universe. Yeah, that's valid. I was hoping to get the one where he says, like, Win in a fight between you and Shepard. Kate is just like, I, I would never fight him. And then Rex is like, exactly, that's why Shepard would win. <laughs> hey, back again, huh? I don't suppose you got any credits to spare. I spoke to my mother. She told me about what happened on Mindoir. Oh, did she? I wonder. People tied like prize hogs, locked in cages. Clawing and screaming as they're loaded into cargo pods, and we couldn't reach them. The Batarian defenses had us pinned. Dozens died trying to advance. All we could do was watch as they hauled people away. I've been looking for 13 years for something to make that sight go away. 
What have you got, huh? I'm not going to give you money to drink yourself to death. You need to stop this. If you don't have a better option, just give me 20 credits. A good bottle of whiskey. Enough to stop the dreams. My mother said to go to the Veterans Affairs Office. You're not the only one who's seen that brand of hell. They can help. The VA? Oh, God. <sighs> All right. If she wants me to go talk to someone, fine, I'll do it. For her. She always stuck up for me. <laughs> she always was naive. All the VAO does is pump you full of chemicals. If she wants to talk, tell her she can reach me through the Citadel VAO. There we go. Took care of him. Well, I guess I'll be looking for keepers. And I'm glad I got had to go back down here again because I completely forgot there's a keeper down here. Scan that. And oh boy, time to deal with all the keepers in the Presidium. I do have a thing on Steam that tells me where to go. I just don't remember what ones I got. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. That doesn't sound good. Honestly, that, like... The Citadel, de like, uh, side quests do not compare to what I have to do in space. Holy crap, there's a lot of side content in space to the point where, like, I'm pretty sure at least 70 or 80% of this Let's Play will just be me going to planet to planet. Oh, Christ. Okay. Let me pull up the guide and let me see where we need to go. Okay, I got that one. I think I got that one, didn't I? It was a yeah, I got this one over here. Okay, next is All right, we got to go to the embassies. There it is. Up, oh, whoops. Right there. I need to come by here anyway to go talk with uh, Anderson. First, me to go in here. Open this. I think there was one in here that I didn't touch. Yeah. I just scan this guy. Let's see how good we are in keepers, actually. We are almost done. In the original, you had to scan- Oh my god, Caden, you were inside the door. In the original, you had to scan all 21 keepers, but they reduced that in the Legendary Edition, and I'm thankful for that, because, man, this is such a slog to go through, but... We're nearly done. We just need one more keeper. And we'll have them all that we need anyway. Not all of them, but I don't care. Let's see. I need to go... There was one in the wards I could have got, wasn't there? I think. Or did they get all... Or did I get them all in the wards? I don't remember. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I think I got them all in the wards. Crap. Okay, I gotta look for them in the Presidium. Okay. Let's, uh... Go talk with Anderson. Actually, wait, did I get the. Wasn't there a keeper in. 
wasn't there a keeper in the Volus and Elcor Embassy? Yeah, there was. There's the last one. Nice. All right. Done with that guy. We guy. Uh, yeah. Just swap it out for something else. There we go. Also, every time we're done with a quest, like a major quest, these two will have a conversation about what we've been doing. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. Aye, aye, aye. Yes, Commander? What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. The people I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. What can you tell me about the ship? I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Bane's the next time you see him. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else, Commander? I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. All right. Well, interesting. But now, we are going into space. We are uh, just about done with the Citadel for the time being, so... Hang on, let me pull up. What planet do I want to go to? Mm. I got an idea. I'll go to one that has some more content to it. Well, actually, we can go to, uh... We'll go to, um... The Artemis Tau Cluster. Deal with all the stuff in there. Because we got a few things we can do in there, and that includes some stuff that... The Sana Dantius needs us to do. I believe we needed to go to... Okay. Alright. Oh, here we go. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Well, that's wholesome. Don't you agree, Rex? Yeah, I thought so. Alright. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Now then. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Let's go to the galaxy map. I'm also going to save real quick. Oh boy, that was a lot of work we just did. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. 
There is one other matter, however. The Citadel has been trying to play down Saren going rogue. It makes the Spectres look bad. Your mention of him was politically inconvenient. Whoops. I wasn't aware of that. I won't discuss him again, sir. I'd appreciate that, Commander. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. to Artemis Tau, and we're going to go to, where was it, Base Dawn. message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Are you telling me this computer is thinking on its own? We're not stupid, Shepard. This is a virtual intelligence, not a true AI. It's not self-aware, and it can't access any external systems. We didn't do anything illegal here. Virtual intelligence support is critical to our military success. VIs process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. I can. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail-safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military. And right now, we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Alright, we'll deal with that in a bit. Scan, we got Matriarch Writings. That is another side quest. Pot of Egg. Bargaloons. <laughs> Anything in the asteroid belt that I should check? Aha! A light metal. Okay. Georgie lives where we're supposed to go, so let me back out real quick. Add a boy. And now let's go into the thing. To Shargila we go. I'm going to bring Caden and Rex again. Okay, I'll cut to when I got everything on this map. Okay, I don't have anything left, but I'm on the way to an anomaly. Like, hold on, what I'm trying to say is that I'm on my way to an anomaly, but we only got one mineral thing left, so I figured that since the anomaly's on the way to it, I might as well take care of it. We scan this. Whoops. Yeah, we got more matriarch writings. Alright. And yeah, it's like not that far, so we might as well get over there. You can see more echo action. For better or worse. <laughs> and there we go. Last one. 
scan this. Got it. Bada boom. And now we can go to our objective. You can also have a look here. Pause this if you need if you're using this as a guide for all the uh, stuff. So keep in mind that once I do get all the minerals, I'm not gonna be going for them on planets anymore. So if I go for them on a planet that you are exploring and don't have them all yet, I can't help you. <laughs> Just saying, man. You can always look it up on the wiki. For now, okay, I didn't even need a little bounce. Let's just go on over, we got some hostiles. And that was a hostile. Now steal the other hostile. terminated. Now we gotta go inside and try to rescue her sister. I smell trouble! On Rex. We got one more. Sorry, slaver. Not much left to her, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna make Caden maybe use lift on her, but that's one way of dealing with her, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's get some better weapons. My goodness. Yeah, we definitely need an upgrade. That's not better, but Caden probably needs a better pistol. And I think, yeah. Uh, no, actually, that's that's actually kind of worse when you think about it. But I will give Rex the shotgun. And the assault rifle as well. The thunder. I mean, yeah, the Avenger, I mean. I thought it was called thunder, but no, I'm thinking of another gun. It got hammer time. Kessler, there's Thunder. Yeah, like better in every way. Now I'm gonna go check. No better pistols. And then there's the medical station. This tends to have armor on average. Yeah. Okay. It's not any better than what I got, but... Uh, 
I can give the light armor to Caden. I should give him something though. For <laughs> for uh damage protection. There should be an upgrade I can find for that, hopefully. But at least he'll be protected from he'll have better shields and power protection. Oh, yeah. Shoot that shit down. Alright, and now we gotta go into this building. Into this room. My god, my brain is acting up today. Reduce that. Reduce that. But I will take the kinetic stabilizer. And we got a hard encryption. Glad we got that maxed out. There we go. Fuck yeah, that's how you do it. Ooh, the stiletto is a very good pistol. I'm definitely going to be using that. Like, look at that. It's hardly any any less accurate. It does so much damage. That's a direct upgrade. It's slow, but it can hit much harder. Let's also encrypt this. And definitely get that tungsten rounds, because that is for the uh, thing. <laughs> sure. 30% damage to synthetics, bitches. And Caden, you're gonna get my old one. And we investigate. You get you discover evidence of the Asari leading these slavers and the son of Dantius, an important ambassador on the Citadel, are sisters. He usually returns to Presidium and confronts Nasana with this. Oh boy, she lied to us. She lied to us. Well, she's gonna have some explaining to do about that. Ooh, we got a upgrade kit as well. And we got proton rounds. Ah, fuck it. Can it blow up? Please. There we go, god. Took four sniper rifle shots just to blow up a tank? Alright, sure, that's how it works, I guess. Anyway. Shredder ammo. That's gonna wreak havoc. Yeah, hold on to the heat absorption. And let's go. Let's get out of here. We still got some stuff to explore in the Ar Artemis Tau cluster, though. So I'm not going to the but, at the same time, we have opened up the moon, so we can go do stuff at the moon. And it's important that we get that done as soon as possible because we get a special upgrade to our character. So let's go straight to the local cluster, to the soul system. We're in human territory. Look at that, we got Mercury, Earth, Venus, Mars, <laughs> Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn, as well as Pluto. Let's look at Earth, our beautiful planet. Look how futuristic that is. And then, we go to Luna. Go land! A one small step for Earth, another small step for human specters. We're gonna bring. Let's bring Garrus and Liara with us. Try to mix things up a little, and we're gonna need some.
tech powers for this. So, VR as a uh, biotics will also come in handy, of course. Hold on, I gotta see here. Before we go, we have some uh, turrets we can kill right away that don't show up on the map. So I'm gonna go deal with those before we do our actual objective. And if Earth is really this bouncy, not, why am I saying Earth? I'm just so blank all of a sudden. If the moon is really this bouncy, I don't know if I'd want to go to the moon. <laughs> My god, these physics for the make are just so dumb. Alright, there's some hijacked alliance turrets. We gotta destroy them. We don't have to destroy them, but it's free experience. Like so. There we go. Now let's level ourselves up. I'm gonna work on my infiltrator. There we go. And for Liar to Sony. We're gonna work on her shields. Same for you, Mr. Picarian. And work on your assault rifle. So, the next set of turrets are located right down here. Maybe you just snipe them from a distance. I don't think that worked at all. <laughs> yeah, that's not working. I'm just shooting nothing. That's so stupid. That's fine. We can deal with these turrets. We're at a Mako after all. this cover against the turrets. What the fuck? It shot right there! That's cheating! You got... you got drill missiles! Ay ay ay. Well, we destroyed them all. Now we gotta go to the Alliance Training Ground. Or was the Training Post? Training Ground. Okay. That was pretty swagger, not gonna lie. I'm gonna use this for cover. Pog. Alright, so 
we gotta go into all three of these uh, areas. Let's head inside the first entrance. We're gonna have to deal with drones, so we gotta be careful about those. There we go. A biotic amp. Liara should definitely get that. Oh, I should also give her a stronger pistol, too. Yeah, give her the better Kessler. Oh. Wow. 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 That is sad. <laughs> Even when it's two times more effective, it's still trash. I think that says a lot. Give him the raptor. There we go. Go to Liara. And, yeah, Solaris Amp. Got a power junction. There's also another locker. More shredder rounds. Ooh, the... The, uh, fucking... Naginata. Eh. I'll take it. At least I can fire more, and I can, and I have my heat sink uh, usage reduced. Turrets. Now the hunter. Side, and we have the VI conduit. We have toxic gas being spewed out of. Halfway done with this area, anyway. Then we gotta blow these up. Lights of the optical main frames flicker and die. The first of three computing clusters containing the VI is offline. All right. I should check my loot while I'm at it. Yeah, I got a lot going on here. Check here. Shield recovery and hardening. Yeah, that would be really nice, actually. Liara could also, yeah, upgrade her. And we're going to give her the... Uh, how good is her... T yeah, her, her thing is fine. We'll give her... I guess the weave as well. And Garrus. Let's upgrade your weave. <laughs> I'm saying it like I'm giving him like a new wig. Oh, 
how the generation will take some time. All right. Now for the next station. Let's go into this bunker. I'm just gonna park it so Cover I know me. which one to go to next. Now it gets fun. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get fun, Liara. Blowing up some turrets. Perimeter clear. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet, Garrus. We still got some fighting to do. Get the Stinger, Tornado, Hurricane. You guys are still poisoned? Okay. Another hammer and Naginata. I guess I'll give it to Garrus. You know, no harm. Oh, that's straight up an upgrade. Yeah, I'll give it to Liara. Okay. More turrets to blow up. Let's get to it. You guys ready? Let's blow shit up. Alright, hold on guys. <laughs> I gotta... I wanna work on myself. Bam. And we're gonna go work on Spectre training. Increases health, accuracy, and effectiveness of all attacks and powers. And we can get the Unity ability, which I think will be very valuable right about now. Work on Liara's shields, make them better. And Garrus, uh... Well, yeah, let's work on your assault rifle. There we go. Whoops. He's still missing. That's what I figured. Alright, it's down. Let's check our equipment. So much crap. We can get extra shields. Hell yeah. Tassoni is lacking on shields, so... Yeah, I think she needs them a bit more. <laughs> Especially since she can't restore her shields like Garrus can. Area secured. Let's begin. Alert! Kinetic barrier fields powering up through the, throughout the bunker complex. Yeah, so now we gotta shoot these down. Deal with those. That accuracy is just on point. Let's deal with these.
second of the three computing clusters contain VIs offline. Get a codex entry. And then we get out of here and go to the last station. Calm down. Lear is just so bloodthirsty today. What's happening? I know I haven't used you for combat in a while, but still. Actually, wait, no. I don't think I have used her for combat. <laughs> Stiletto and Scorpion. Ooh, that is so tempting to have. But it's light armor, so I'm giving it to Liara. There you go. Give myself that upgraded Stiletto. I'll let Liara have my old one. Thunder. All right. It's time we deal with these. Things. They're all waiting for us. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. And Garrus, do that. Holy crap. <laughs> they were waiting for us. Shepherd. They were waiting for us, dude. That was messed up. <laughs> uh, ooh, I'll take this. And Garrett... How good is Liara's shield? I think Garrus needs the new shield, so I'll give Liara the the ablative coating and give you shields. Oh, the or was it the energy's weave? There's the shield modulator. Oh, I could give him both the shield modulator. Yeah, I'll do that instead. There you go. I'm trying to remember where I was going. Digital security drones powering up. Heads up. Whew. That's all of them.
There's no more sec no uh, bleh, no more security to worry about. It's completely defenseless to us. Bada boom. Now let's go. Crouch. So we have better accuracy. Ow. Don't worry, Garrus, I was just too close is all. And then the final one. Burst of white noise all over frequency nearly deafens you. Your hard suit's he heads up display interprets it into a series of zeros and ones. They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights of the final VI cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. And this is binary code for help. Anyway. Your specialization class will replace your base class in the talents of the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen to view bonuses you gain with each rank of your specialization class. And we can choose between two. Commandos rely on lethal efficiency and precision strikes rather than brute force to eliminate their opponents. Increases damage with all weapons, improves immunity ability, marksman, and assassination. Or operative. Operatives are masters at manipulating their environment to maximum advantage. Reduces recharge time of all tech attacks. Improves overload and sabotage. I'm gonna improve I'm gonna get commando. So yeah. We have geared up, and there it is. As we yeah, as we level as we go, we can get improvement on immunity, which we gain from fitness, but we don't have that worked on yet. And then there's assassination, which reduces the recharge time on them by 25%. And those would definitely be very nice to have. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, we're done here. And with that accomplished, we are going to call it a part as well. <sighs> so, next time on Mass Effect, we will, uh, I guess we'll continue the Artemis Tau Cluster and then do the other stuff that we need to do so we can go back to the Citadel, just so I could save up time on backtracking. Alright, well, I'll see you guys then!